Okay, we're starting off our first motorcycle trip. My first motorcycle trip with my dad. Hey, hey. Let's going, do this. Going off on Harleys. It was originally going to be in BMWs, but we pivoted. <laughs> or on some... A major uh, pivot. Yeah, That's totally like different. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're going to take off here from Milwaukee, head to southeastern Oregon. Pretty view. This is my first road trip on a motorcycle. It's also pretty much my first time riding a Harley. It's a big bike. I'm used to riding like 300 pound dual sports. And this is a 700 pound plus. You know, whatever the gear I have on here, probably looking at 725. Soft tail, Deluxe 2007. Super comfortable on the highway, I gotta tell you that, but when I get into these twisties, it's kind of like, uh-oh. This is a uh, big bike. Big bike. So pretty. Not a lot of snow. We've had the most beautiful October. This is 2022 in uh, Portland. It's just been sunny, 80 every day. It's, um, I think it's October 18th now, and we're going till about the 22nd. I think the 22nd is when our first was, uh, we're supposed to have rain. So we'll probably hit some rain on our last day. Coming up on Silent Rock. You're supposed to be quiet when you go through this little hole in the rock. Otherwise you have bad luck. Now, I don't believe in that kind of stuff, so I talk right through it. It makes my friends really upset. Now that we're on the road, talk about what we're doing. We're heading down to Burns tonight, Burns, Oregon, which is about smack dab in the center of Oregon. Okay, I'm going to have to stop myself right here. I go on to pontificate about our grand plans for visiting Eastern Oregon. Uh, I'm just going to speed it up here because we didn't do any of that. Plans changed. So far, I'm enjoying my first Harley trip. Let's keep it going. Keep it safe. So I was listening to a podcast, and I'm still kind of learning this Cardo uh, communication system. And uh, it, the podcast ended, and now I can't get anything else turned on. So... I'm just in my helmet yelling, hey Siri! And she's just saying, hey! And then not doing anything. We just got over the mountain, just over Mount Hood, coming uh, pretty close to Warm Springs. Now we're gonna be going down a pretty, pretty nice little hill. It goes down into the main area of Warm Springs and then we'll come out back, back up into Madras. We'll be coming back up into Madras. That's what we're getting gas. I'm, I'm less than half tank. I have no idea what the mileage is on this bike. So this bike does have like a low fuel light, which is cool. Um, on my bike, I don't even have a gauge. I just have to assume that my bike is getting the same mileage that it always does and then watch the uh, mileometer. So far, I'm very comfortable, honestly. Um, it's kind of hard holding uh, throttle down for this long. This helmet is not the right helmet for this. It's a $100 helmet for my $100 head, and uh, it's very uncomfortable. It's like pinching my chin, cheeks, and like making my jaw hurt. Kind of got a little bit of headache, but I rode yesterday to kind of give it a test run, and after about uh, an hour, hour and a half on the bike, I got off, took the bike, the helmet off for about uh, 15 minutes, and I felt back to normal, so I, hopefully uh, that can get us by. If it doesn't, if I start having serious headaches or whatever, I'm gonna have to find a motorcycle dealership and I'm gonna buy another helmet. We're only into Madras. We made it, about two hours. We're gonna get some gas. I'm looking at uh, a little more than a quarter of a tank. We're doing okay. Can't wait to take this helmet off though. Woo! 
my ear feels like it's folded in half. So we just got gas in Madras and we're heading out towards Burns. We were talking about uh, riding to the top of uh, uh, top of the Steens Mountains. I was just mentioned that to my dad and he said, well, my brother Stu said it's not paved. I was like, oh, okay. So uh, I guess we'll have to <laughs> adjust those plans because I'm certainly not going to take these Harleys uh, up on uh, gravel roads. No way, it's, uh, it's not a good idea. I don't know Harleys very well, but I know that, that wouldn't work out very well. So we're adjusting our plans a little bit. We're still going to stay tonight in Burns, watch the uh, Padres playoff game against the Phillies. Game one, we're adjusting a little bit, other than the uh, unpaved at Steens Mountains, is that in the uh, gas station, the guy who worked there said that there's snow in the forecast over the, uh, over the mountains. So um, we're not trying to run into snow. We might have to shorten our trip a little bit. Uh, so these, uh, we can do a little bit of rain. Definitely we can do cold. But uh, riding uh, in the snow, <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. Beautiful country out here, though. I got Mumford and Sons playing in my helmet. I'm leading the pack now. It's sixth gear. Uh, some unknown amount of mileage per hour. Don't need to talk about that. Burns a hundred miles. Oh man, I was hoping for less than a hundred. Had the camera off, but I was riding. Saw this uh, one of those oversized load trucks with the uh, car in front, car behind. And I uh, saw the car, it was coming at me. The car was in front. And then I was like, oh, okay move over to the right side of the lane like I am now and he wasn't that big but he was pretty tall but when he when I went past him it was like a punch in the chest of wind I was not expecting because uh, other semis aren't really they're not doing the same thing it's not, I feel it but it's not like that that was very surprising this is Heinz not Burns oh I thought it was Burns entering Burns yet it's, it's nice Okay, well, we made it to Burns. We're in a hotel out here. We're gonna go get some pizza and uh, watch the Padres game. It was a pretty, pretty smooth ride for my first serious Harley ride. Uh, smooth roads and uh, good speed limits compared to my DRZ, that's for sure. But we're gonna go get some pizza and watch the Padres game. All right, we are getting ready to head out of town. We had uh, some pizza last night, watched the Padres lose. And uh, we're, hitting, we're getting ready to head out to Alvord. It's gonna be probably hour, hour and a half, two hours to get down there and get some milkshakes over at uh, Field Station, world famous milkshakes. And then uh, head over to Lakeview, but uh, it's a good stay in Burns. It's, uh, it's a good, uh, good hotel we were at. And the pizza was really good too, uh, like really good pizza. So, but yeah, we'll catch back up with you. Try to take some shots along the way. All right, we're leaving Burns. Heading out toward Alvord. Doesn't sound like we're gonna be able to get the Harleys on the playa. Talked to a few adventure guys and they said the road getting down to the playa is hard. The playa is great and it'll be fine, but we can't get, we probably won't be able to get the Harleys down. We're gonna give it a try. Uh, but we are officially out at Burns and uh, we're gonna be heading 78 down to the east side of the uh, Steens. We'll catch up with you here in a few, well, an hour. All right, bye. Overside load coming this time. I'm gonna turn the camera on. What do we got? What do we got? Whoa. Whoa. Hang on. Oh yeah. <laughs> that was a big one. I don't know what it was.
So we just ran into a problem. Got gravel. <laughs> I don't think there's any way around this. We're not going to be able to take these bikes down here. I guess I didn't look, but I I don't know how to check if it's gravel or not. Well, it should, uh, it would say on a, yeah, it should say on that too. Is the map uh, available on top of something? Oh yeah. Yep. We're 74. Okay, well we made it to Rome Station. We uh, took a bit of a detour. I don't know when my battery cut off on the GoPro, so I'll do a quick sum up. We <laughs> were gonna go to Alfred Desert and ran into some gravel, about 40 miles of gravel, so we didn't make it. Um, we had to detour, um, so now we're 0 for 2. Didn't get to the top of Steens because of gravel. Couldn't go to Alvord because of gravel. We're gonna go to Rome, Pillars of Rome. Can't go there, it's gravel. So we uh, wound up just getting some food in Rome. So we're way out there now. We're gonna we're gonna head back up. Uh, well, I say that we're gonna head back up to Burns, probably get some gas, and then keep going up to John Day. Plans completely changed. No more Crater Lake. Doesn't look like. Um, so yeah, uh, kind of gotta be flexible, but we're we're doing good. Uh, it's gonna be kind of high mileage day. We got probably another 250 miles from here, so it'll be a big one. So I'm gonna get an audio book going. All right, here we go. Okay, I don't know where my GoPro left off, but we're leaving Rome now. I didn't realize how beautiful Rome was. It's uh, just perfect. It's uh, got these cool, I don't know, geological features, as well as some pretty trees in the fall. I got my, uh, my old gloves that are a lot less hot. It's a beautiful day. Better catch up. Here we go. Also note that Rome, the Rome station, little uh, gas station and burger place. Oh man, really, really good burger. My dad had a burger, said so it's really good. I had the uh, turkey clubhouse, and it was really good. Uh, yeah, the fries were good too. Uh, great stop if you're uh, traveling through, especially if you need gas. It's like the only gas out here for 60 miles either way or something. Seneca. Uh-oh, looks like we had a fire over there. That's where that smoke's coming from. Well, we need some rain after our trip, of course. Well, that's, that sign says it all. It says, prescribed burn area. Please do not report. <laughs> Good. I wasn't planning on reporting it because I figured... Yeah, so much for I 
see this. I'm the first one to ride through here. But that's funny. Okay, we're about halfway through uh, our trip to Burns. Well, probably more than halfway. Or from Burns to John Day, about more than halfway. Coming through Seneca. Found this little uh, aspen or alder patch. I'm not sure which. Kind of just checking it out. It's uh, beautiful through here. It's just been exactly what I imagined fall to be. I wish we had more of these trees up here or up in the uh, northwest of Oregon, but it's worth the drive to come out and see them. Sun's coming through. We saw the uh, prescribed burn. Um, about a fire that we thought was a fire and that was actually a prescribed burn. And uh, it's, I think it's letting the uh, light come in even just a little bit warmer, which is just perfect. But I think we got about 20 more minutes before we uh, hit John Day. All right. All right, we're heading out of uh, John Day now. We're leaving our hotel at the uh, Dreamers Lodge, I believe. Nice day. We're gonna pick up some gas and then uh, head on out to Painted Hills. Should be a pretty good ride. It's gonna be a shorter ride today because uh, Oh, not dignified. There we go. Uh, <laughs> uh, we're going to be doing Painted Hills, which is a gravel road. And uh, and then uh, we're going to go to Sun, uh, not Sun River, uh, Sisters. And uh, that's looking at like maybe three hours of riding. Uh, it's supposed to start raining tomorrow afternoon-ish. So we're going to try to hightail it home from Sisters tomorrow morning. Dad said this is uh, yesterday was his, in his top five of riding days. So I said I only have down to go then, if that's as good as it gets. It was good. It was definitely good. But it's kind of depressing to know that that's as good as it gets. I've seen it all. Oh, well, we turned around to check out this overlook. Not sure the name of it. Looks like it is. Maskell Formation Overlook. Something about a saber-toothed tiger up here. Ooh, cool. It's kind of a nice little tucked away place. Yeah. This is a little taste of what the Painted Hills is. Made it to Painted Hills over some gravel and the Harleys. That was fun. It's like uh, I felt like I was on some whoops on a motocross track. <laughs> and then the suspension on those things uh, bought them out pretty easily. Uh, but we made it. Um, we have to make it back out to pave road. So I'll hit record on the GoPro for that trip just in case something fun happens. But we made it. It's uh, really cool here. It's my dad's first time 
seeing the painted hills. All right, this is your first time here. What do you think? Oh, it's spectacular. The uh, mile, there's only about a mile of roadway that's kind of tough to navigate, but it's not that bad. Well, well maintained. Uh, but it's worth coming all the way up here to you know, The hills are spectacular. Just so, they're so different than anything else you've ever seen, really. Thought I could find it without looking at the map. Oh, gotcha. Oh, gravel, of course. Okay, we made sisters. We had a uh, really good dinner and a beautiful sunset. Um, good beer and uh, ice cream. And now we're watching the playoff game uh, between the Yankees and the Astros and. Uh, just uh, gonna cruise on into Cambia tomorrow. Should be a pretty, uh, pretty good night. Okay, we're uh, leaving sisters this morning, heading home. Uh, it's been a really good trip. We had a lot of fun, and so far we've been very safe. It's supposed to rain today, so we're gonna go slow. And uh, the first rain on a motorcycle is always the worst because all the uh, road grime from summer like all the oils is suddenly wet and slick not washed away so we're gonna have to be careful um, but it's been a really good trip it's been beautiful out here in the fall on the eastern side of the mountain uh, but thanks for watching we'll catch up with you on the next one